looking at this at the very beginning of the conflict, it started out as a pretty desperate thing where uh, Ukrainians were taking whatever they had, drones, toy drones, anything off the shelf, coming up with uh, homemade weapons or munitions, uh, homemade incendiaries uh, to put on these drones and basically turning them into um, drone delivered Mol Molotov cocktails. You know, that was really how it began. And then it got more and more sophisticated. They started, you know, buying drones, bringing, uh, you know, whether they were commercial or military, and then putting conventional munitions uh, on those drones and using those against the Russians. But these were still very primitive in a way. They were, they were controlled by radio frequency links, which were easy to jam at low altitudes. So that drove innovations towards high altitude drones that could fly above the jamming and fiber optic controlled drones that could fly at low altitudes, but they would carry this, this coil of fiber optic cable that would sort of spool out as they're moving forward. And the cable would be attached to a human controller, uh, which would make these drones far more jam resistant uh, because